What's up, victory at last? This is a triumphant moment after a long battle. A day spent struggling against a render glitch bug that is finally fixed. Oh, joyous moment. Um, so what the problem was is that um, entities were leaving behind visual glitches. Oh, there's still a glitch here. This guy's invisible. Anyways, now he's visible. But anyways, uh, they they used to leave behind voxels everywhere. There's all these garbagey voxels, especially from swords and heads somehow, left all over the place. Like they just don't even care. They just leave their stuff behind. Don't even mind that it's in somebody else's way. Um, but now it's all fixed. Check it out. I'm I'm fighting. This used to create tons of visual glitches. Let's take a look at some of these videos I've been recording all dang day. Um, here's movie number five. This kind of illustrates um, uh, the problem. Let's see. Let's, we're stepping through this kind of frame by frame. Here you can see a real big clue. Well, first let's illustrate the problem, right? Um, there. See how it leaves behind that those white pixels right here in the center? From this character, from this character right here, let's let's see that again. Uh, step through it slowly. Okay, so there, the, both the let's see, one of the entities, yeah, no, both the entities right there have swords. Um, out or their their attack boxes are out, and then there he just left behind. Oh, that's voxel from before, but there, see how he leaves behind those voxels, and they don't get erased. And he starts moving around, and those voxels stay behind. It's just leaving behind garbage voxels, basically. Uh, so that's the that's was the main issue today. There were lots of other little issues that were very very much related to this. So there was like a four different bugs I fixed today to get all that to finally be fixed. And it seemed like every single one is like, oh, this has got to be it. But yet there was one more and one more. So let's look at some of the code. What actually got um, changed. Uh, this was the main one right here. And this took me so long because I tried it two different ways. I tried to... What's, what this is, is I was trying to schedule um, a render component to erase itself after it's been destroyed, right? So an entity is getting destroyed, needs to release all its components. The render system needs to schedule an erase or what, what this code used to be actually was that um, render system er erasing immediately. So wherever the destruct was being called from, whether that's tick or animate, wherever the heck in the, in the, the thread that this is being called, um, it goes and starts performing some render system animation code and it really shouldn't have done that. So instead of doing that, it schedules the erase so that the render system can later go back when it's actually in the process of animating all its 3D entities anyways, the proper timing for such a thing, then it goes and erases the entity. Because it's very important to be doing that in the right order. You need to erase entities first, repaint entities that needed to be repainted after erasing that entity, and then paint the new entity where it's where it's going to be it's at. And the new position, so um, so scheduling the erase was was a huge um, win. This this actually fixed a lot. No no wait no this wasn't this wasn't a huge win at all. This was more like fixing ten percent of the problem. It was like it was hard to even see that it was noticeable. But by recording tons and tons of videos, I kind of confirmed it slowly by stepping through frame by frame and seeing. Uh, more and more that it was working. So um, basically, all this is doing is it it uh, yeah it just schedules the erase. I had to re refactor uh, the repaint entities function a little bit. This is all that is just refactoring, and this is scheduling the erase and all that. But anyways, okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, oh yeah, there was this was really important to actually fix the bug. This is this is um let's go behind. I mean to this video here. Okay, so this is uh, illustrating after I fix about let's see two or three of the the four bugs. Um, I got down to the very last bug, which was a really really rare one. This would happen I don't know once every minute or something like that. Some this was very very difficult to reproduce. Um, but check us out. 
Okay, here we are. And this guy, um, he's dropping down his sword. That's what that red box is. And then right there. See where we go from there? At this frame, look at his head. He's the guy here on the right I'm talking about. This guy right here. We go from this frame to this frame. And his head got left behind. But his body got updated to the right position. But the problem is, is his pixels, his voxels got left behind. So um, this one, this particular bug was just super easy. Um, it was just that the, when the when I set the rotation for the entity, see how he, he goes and he rotates from there to there. He rotates from being facing north to facing west. Um, that's all it needed. I just needed to paint the entity. Uh, but here's okay. This I forgot. This is the this is the main one right here. This one was like sixty percent of the bug took at least sixty percent of the day to find this, and all it was was this like one. Basically, it was almost a one liner. Um, the entity's render position compared to its last position wasn't wasn't triggering itself as being different sometimes so it wasn't triggering a, a paint um, because the this render system on screen function which was meant for other systems to call like AI system the AI system needs to know if a certain entity is on the screen then it calls this render system on screen is on screen um, but it was permanently modifying the the render components um, position and 2d position with this function so this basically backs up the old position and then restores it after calling this. So that, that, that was, this was most of the bug. Most of the bug took all day to find that because it was really, I didn't expect to find it right here. This is no, not a part of the code I was looking at the entire day. And finally I was like, oh, oh. So, um, yeah, big win um, for the overall day. Took a, lot, a long time. But these kinds of things are worth it. Once you fix these things, like the engine can run faster. It just looks a lot better, too, to not be leave behind these garbagey stuffs. Um, gosh, one of the next things I want to do visually, in fact, I'm not going to be able to do it this week. I'll have to, I want to really work on more gameplay and stuff like that this week. But um, uh, w one visual thing I want to do is to get the render system or the rendering voxels to be a little more consistent. See how. The player, the player on the left right here, he has three or three pixels here for his eyes, but then it goes straight to his neck, right? This is his neck, and he's supposed to have like a, at least a mouth, right? It would he would look a lot better in this frame right here if he had a mouth. Why doesn't he? Because of the way um, the three D positions of voxels are um, translating into two D positions with Z depths. And that those Z depths must be really close, either that or the voxel thinks it's being occluded by another voxel. I'm not exactly sure, but it would be really cool to get my rendering engine to draw the models to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so that's on my mind for later. Um, but yeah, that's it for this update. Thanks a lot for watching.